the field work is highly competitive. You know, you've got a bunch of guys, a good mix of veterans and, and young guys. And I think we're, you know, we, we, we talk about uh, expectation being constantly on the rise. And, and that's what we've been able to do so far. Yep. Oh, yeah. He's special. He, he's really special. He's really special. First off, he puts the work in, right? So you could take, you know, talent is a, a God-given thing, but the discipline and skill that you develop over time in your life, he's been able to do that, right? He's a really disciplined guy. He's the same every day from a mentality standpoint. He's the same every day from a work ethic standpoint. So you see that translate to the field. Um, he's probably in the film room more than anybody on the entire defense maybe you know and he puts that type of effort in and uh, he's done a great job of you know pushing the envelope with other guys to to make sure the standards that way Matt, when you know that your room isn't completely stocked right now with malik being out for the spring what is the workload like for him and how are you getting him acclimated to a new position coach yeah um, and how much is that helping Jaden get those reps that maybe malik would have taken uh you know with him being out Jaden kind of gets those yeah, first off, it's great for guys to be able to get opportunities on those guys to maximize those opportunities and me to have them ready for those, right? So I think it's been a good mix of that. And then from a you know, preparation standpoint, you know, we dealt with this a little bit too when uh, Lathan was out and had missed a spring before, he, you know, he had two years ago a really good successful, you know, he's a Thorpe semifinalist type season for him. Um, it's a lot of mental work. You know, it's a lot of work in the film room to say, okay, what does it take to be prepared to be able to cross the white lines and, and be ready to go? You know, because the game doesn't care if you've taken spring ball or not, right? You got to be, you got to be ready to go. How much easier is it for, for you to, to coach these younger guys when you know Lathan and Caleb kind of take care of their own business? Yeah, I think everybody's held to the same standard, you know, so I don't assume anything. Everybody's going to be coached the same way, whether, you know, it doesn't matter if it's Caleb Downs coming out of a break or it's Jalen McClain coming out of a break. They're coached the same way and the expectation's the same. But yeah, anytime that you have vets and high-level players that are your hardest workers, that means something, right? And the guys are able to follow suit from that standpoint. Has, has Caleb largely done stuff as the adjuster? He's played a multitude of positions for us. He can handle that. We have different uh, personnel packages where we can move him around and do different things with him. So he's got a, a, a wide variety of skills, and it's our job to highlight those. You know, so he's he's played multiple positions, um, you know, in our secondary so far. Is that exciting for you guys to have somebody with that? I mean, it's good to see his officers versatile. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Anytime you have flexibility in packaging and you're able to highlight what guys do well is awesome. And then it's awesome for those guys too, because when the NFL looks at those guys, versatility is really important when you get down to 53 guys on a roster. When you have, when you have Lathan and Caleb, they both played both positions in your defense throughout their college careers. Uh, does it really matter what you call those two then, if they can both play both? I mean, you've got Jordan in the slot. Like, yeah. Does that even... Like, I don't know. Yeah, you do because you, you, you have specific job responsibilities within those, um, but they become more interchangeable and fluid in how you can function with those pieces. You know, it doesn't, it's not like a, a true strong or a free safety. You know what I mean? Those guys are able to complement each other and you have more flexibility within your packaging to put those guys in position to make plays. Yeah. What have you seen for Jaden in his time? We saw him on Saturday running with the, the ones mm -hmm. a little bit, with the twos. Um, it seems like he's making a little bit of his opportunity. What, what have you seen from him? Yeah, he's been a guy that's been on the rise. You know, to me, from where he was when he started spring ball to where he is now, he's made more plays at practice. His eye discipline is better. His understanding of the defense is better, um, which allows you to be able to play free and be able to play fast. So that's what I've seen so far, and I can I expect that to continue. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about Jalen McClain? How's he been progressing? He's been great. He's been great. He First off, we do a, a thing where we track how well you run to the ball every practice. It's one of the things that we grade, right? So you could talk about all the schematics that you want. Coach Knowles has all that. But if you're not running to the ball, you're not playing good defense, right? So we track that. And he's one of the guys that every single practice is one of our highest grade guys running to the ball. So he's been awesome from an effort standpoint first. Attitude, he's in early. He puts the work in. Um, and he's made a bunch of plays out here. So no, I'm, I'm excited to, about Jalen McClain for sure. When you talk about running to the ball, do you mean like he's ball hawking really well in the back end? Or is it a nose for the football and running game or both? Yeah, so we're really tracking effort and how hard a guy's playing from there is what we do. But I would say this too, he's been around the ball a lot, right? Whether it's alley running and he's downing the ball on, on a breakthrough run or fitting gaps, things like that. And then he's got really good range in the post or the half too. So he's done a good job of, of both of those things. I guess all, all the above. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I do. I do. And, you know, it's been an opportunity for you have a couple guys that are 
aren't out there, so you're able to continue to grow the depth and be able to see what guys can do, and you have increased reps from that standpoint. Um, so I do feel confident. You know, I feel confident in the guys that, um, you know, how they've performed so far this spring, and then the guys that haven't been out there. I feel confident from what their abilities are, what I've seen on film, and then the, the mental preparation from that standpoint. Now I would go back to refer to you know what Lathan was like a couple years ago and taking that same blueprint. Yeah, he's done, um, I, I would say the, uh, the mental side. I would say is if you took, he has really good physical skills. You see him when he walks on the field. I mean, he's, he's a, yeah, no doubt. Um, I would say the mental side of the game, right? Really understanding what's the defense, what's my eye progression, where do I fit into this chess piece? You know, what, what's my chess piece in this whole match that's happening? And uh, yeah, I've been pleased with him and he's putting the work in to, to make sure that he understands what's going on. I wouldn't say weird, I'd say it's great, right? And uh, because his preparation is so high level, it challenges you as a coach to be an elite teacher, right? Because he's gonna be on his game. It's like coaching a professional player, right? He understands the concepts in the game so well. He's put so much time into it. As a coach, you better be matching or equaling that, right? Going above and beyond that, because if not, he's gonna be a step ahead of the coach, right? So that's, uh, it's been awesome to be able to push each other, to make each other better. Um, he's got a great understanding and feel for the game. He's a great young man. The work ethic is really high level. So every value that you would look for, not just for a skill or intangible thing, like that, but who he is as a person, I can't say enough about who Caleb Downs is. It's been awesome. What's the next step for, for Lathan? We're talking about the preparation that Caleb has. Mm -hmm. Lathan coming back from year five yep. and also coming back from injury. Like, what's his... What do you want to see from him? Maybe it's leadership, maybe it's on the field. I don't know. What, what is it for Yeah, I think, I think uh, leadership is definitely something, right? He's a guy that's been there, done that, um, has accomplished a lot, but not the goals that he wants to yet. So I would say from a leadership standpoint, holding guys accountable, and he's done that at a really high level. Um, and then his own preparation. I've been impressed with, uh, you know, if you're not taking as many physical reps, what are the mental reps that you're taking? And he's done a really good job of having daily routine, putting the time in, making sure that he's caught up to speed with everything. So I would, I would say the, the off-the-field stuff is a, you know, a step in the right direction. Take away from your experience last year as a co-coordinator. That mm -hmm. since we last talked to you, now you've been through multiple spring practices here. Like, what did you learn? Something under Tom, or, or whether it's just for you as a coach that that you brought here to bring the safety room this year. Yeah, um, I think that you learn different ways to be able to do things, whether it's taking the ball away or tackling methods, or you know the way that it's taught from other defensive coaches. So to learn from a different tree and thought process and philosophy you know I try to I pride myself on being a teacher um, which means that you better always be learning right or you're getting behind so I would say um, yeah just different ways to be able to maybe do similar techniques or things that have to be done from a defensive principle standpoint and then you know bringing that to the table as you step back and you say okay here's how I've always done it or I've done it in the, the Jim Knowles system right and then you're in a different defensive system and how, do, how does that get executed? And then uh, you can blend some of those or pick what you know what you like from there. So a chance to reflect, I'd say. Did you feel like you accomplished what you wanted to away from the, the Jim Knowles system to bring it back to the Jim Knowles system? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think any time that you're, no matter where you're coaching, right, you have principles of defense and a way to be able to play defense, whether you're how you tackle or how you play in the red zone or different things like that. And there's metrics to be able to track that. And, and some improvement was made. Um, not enough in my opinion, you know what I mean? But there, there were strides from, from that standpoint. And then, yeah, when you come back into it, you say, okay, the system here has developed in a year that I was gone, right? And then maybe I'm able to develop a little bit as a, a coach too and from a positional coach or a coordinator mindset, things like that. And then you're able to mesh ideas and come back and you learn, hey, what's the new that's happened over a year? And then I was able to see the Big Ten from a different lens as well, you know? So I think that's valuable. Man, it, Last you question. down a few safeties on Saturday. Just kind of, how do you feel about your depth at that position? Yeah, it's something that um, you know we've we've addressed and say, hey, here's the guys that have played, here's the guys that haven't played, who's taking the reps right now, and how do we grow those guys? You know, from that standpoint. So I think that's a, a work in progress every single day. So I've been pleased with the guys. I think there's been a, a on the you know steadily on the rise approach from everybody in the room. You know, so I've been pleased with the guys and the progress that they've made. Um, so I feel good about it, and uh, I expect that to continue throughout spring and then continue throughout summer and into fall camp. You know, from that standpoint. Yep. Who are some of those guys that maybe haven't played much here, but you're seeing making a move this spring? 
yeah, um, Jaden Bonds who's taken advantage of the opportunity that he's had. Jalen McLean's taken an opportunity, you know, advantage of the opportunity. Inky had a really good day today, you know, he's taken advantage of the opportunity. So the guys that, you know, are taking reps, you know, I'm pleased with watching those guys, you know, continue to progress, you know. And then Caleb, I think, has, you know, learned our system and, and done really well and gotten better every day. All right, Matt, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks Matt. Appreciate it, guys.